Hi, this is ENX04, here to show you a stupid simple trap for the Ender Dragon. This is so simple to set up that it's probably the easiest, safest, and fastest way for most players to kill it. It's not as fast as using exploding beds, but it's a lot less dangerous. You could even use the trap to punch the dragon to death. The trap itself is just one block of obsidian or endstone with water placed on top. That's it, really. You just need to place the trap directly over the exit portal at the X and Z coordinates of 0, 0. The trap relies on the perching behavior of the dragon. Perching is when the dragon seemingly lands on top of the exit portal for a while. Now if you build anything over the exit portal, the dragon will perch on top of that instead of the exit portal itself. For the trap to work, the dragon needs to get stuck underneath the water flowing down from the top of the trap. And so it actually needs to approach the trap from below, not above. As a result, the trap is most efficient when placed high up in the sky. I recommend a height of at least Y145. This not only ensures that the dragon will get caught in the water when it tries to perch, but it also puts the end crystals out of range so that it can't regenerate. That means you don't need to destroy the end crystals in order to use this trap. Alright, let's get to building this thing. In your hotbar, get 195 dirt blocks ready in groups of 64, 32, 64, and 35. And you might want to have a little extra dirt in inventory, just in case something unexpected happens. You'll also need one obsidian block, or you can grab an endstone block after you go through the portal, and a bucket of water. A pickaxe will help you dig your way out in case you spawn underground in the end. And some empty bottles will be handy to collect and clear out dragon's breath, but this is optional. For your weapon, bring a bow. If you fully charge every shot and never miss hitting the dragon's body, you'll need 67 arrows. You'll probably miss a handful of times, so I recommend at least maybe 80 arrows, just to be sure. And that's all you'll need. And I actually recommend that you try not to bring much else, because if you die, there's a decent chance that you will lose everything on you. So it actually makes sense to go into battle with nothing that you value. If you do die, all you have to do is restock these basic supplies and try again. Just remember to place a bed in the stronghold and set your spawn point before heading to the end. Alright, here we go. When you arrive in the end, you always spawn with your feet at the X and Z coordinates of 100 and 0, and at the Y altitude coordinate of 49. And we want to build the trap at 00, 0 and an altitude of 145. Both the start and finish locations are fixed in every game, regardless of seed. And that means that we know exactly how far away we need to put the trap. Start by pillaring up on the dirt that you have in the first two slots of your hotbar. That's 64 and 32 blocks of dirt for a total of 96. Use the pickaxe to tunnel up through the endstone if you need to. If you hear the dragon attack with a fireball while pillaring, just ignore it. Your pillaring will cause the shot to miss. When you get to the top of the pillar, your feet will be at Y145. Now use the dirt in the next two slots to bridge towards the portal. That's 64 and 35 blocks of dirt for a total of 99. If you hear a fireball while making the bridge, just pillar up three blocks and the fireball won't hurt you. Clear the dragon's breath with empty bottles or wait for it to pass. Then break down the pillar to recover your dirt and continue. When you run out of dirt, you should be at the X and Z coordinates of 1 and 0. Place the obsidian in the next space so that it's over 0, 0. Remove the last dirt block and place the water on the obsidian. The trap is set. Now, head back to the top of the pillar for a fairly safe place to wait for the dragon to become trapped. This might take a few minutes. Dodge any fireballs in the meantime. When the dragon is finally caught, wait for the dragon to destroy the end of your dirt bridge, and then shoot your arrows straight at the body, fully charged, until the dragon dies.
If this is the first ender dragon of the game, the water on top of the obsidian is replaced with the dragon egg when it dies. Ride the falling water back to the surface, collect any XP that you might want, and hop in the portal to wrap this up. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that you could use the trap to punch the dragon to death. I'll end with a clip to demonstrate how to set this up. I hope you've enjoyed this video, but before I go, I'd like to remind you to please check out the description for any tips that I may have forgotten to include. Thanks for watching.